Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Today I'm making a wee tea holder, tea bag holder. It's like a wee gift. I had bought lovely tea bags from TK Maxx there and my daughter loves fruity tea bags so she hadn't been feeling very well and I made a wee tiny holder for just a wee quick um, holder using the envelope punch board. That's it there. But she liked the tea bag so much that I thought I would love to give her a wee gift with a lot more into it. So this is like a wee box. So I've made a band out of the ribbon. And when you open up the band, the lid comes off and it just opens out. Oops, I accidentally got glue. Just ignore that. I'll have the other one done properly. I was playing about to see nice ways of holding it closed. But it holds, it could, I'd say it would hold... Um, three tea bags on each side if you wanted. These are lovely wee tea bags. They actually sit in your cup and they're full of fruits. They're really lovely. So this is what I'm going to make today and I hope I don't make any mistakes. So it just closes together like this. Put your band back on. Slide your little ribbon band on. You can open that up if you want um, but it should go over easy enough. And then I just stamped the way. Hope you feel better soon. So it's a nice, it's good wee substantial size. Like, and for this, I have used the lovely papers from Share What You Love. And I'm using both sides of them, as you can see. Um, so I'll start off. So first of all, you need, for your base, you need a piece of card that measures nine inches by three and five eighths. And we're going to show the peach side to the outside so you'll do your scoring in this one. Then you need for the lid, you need a piece of card that measures 6 and 1 16th by 4 and 1 16th. The 1 16th is just to give it that wee bit of extra to fit neatly over the top of your folded piece. Otherwise it would just be 6 by 4. And you also need the two pockets. I'm also turning the lid so it's going to show the green side, the other side will show the peach side. And inside, I'm going to show the peach this time, show the green the last time. So you'll need two pieces of these for the pockets, and they measure seven and two eighths by two and a half. So we'll start off with her score, and we'll just score the whole lot at once. So we'll do our base one first, and because we want the outside to be peach, we'll score it on the green side. So start at the longest side and score at an inch, four inches, five inches, and eight inches. That's that one. And next we'll do the lid. And we want the lid to be green, so we're going to do the scoring on the peach side. In fact, you know what? I'm going to change my mind this time and do... This. I'm going to show green on the outside this time and I'm going to show peach for the lid just to be different from the other one so we can score on the leafy side. So for your lid it's six and one six and one sixteenth by four and one sixteenth and we're going to score it one and a half inches on all four sides so just do one and a half and spin your card round one and a half keep turning until you do all four sides. I have changed my mind so many times today. I can think. Must be the heat. So that's that one done. Now we'll do our pockets and we'll because we we'll want the peach side to score to show we'll score this side. Isn't that right now? Did I change something that I'm putting the base as green? So I want these to be green there. So, sorry I'm mixing you up, but I'm mixing myself up too. That's what happens when you change your mind. Stick to your guns. So, scored at three inches, three and three eighths, three, or sorry, three and three eighths, six and three eighths, and six and six eighths. And then the long side, you just need half an inch. And do the same again. Three. All right, yep, three. 
um, three and three eighths, and then six and three eighths, and six and six eighths. I hope I've got that right. And the half inch. Hmm. I shouldn't have changed. I'm not going to change them right now because I realised uh, the flipping card, the, the leaves will not be wrong on the way I've cut it. So I have cut one okay, but because I've changed my mind there to use this as the outside, this one's not going to look right. It's going to be the wrong way. So I'm just going to stick to my guns. So let's do our filling up. We'll do the pockets first. Score your wee half inch thread and then score all the other ones. Crafting is a learning curve. Right, let's say that'll take four months the wee pocket. Score the next one. See my own folds. So we'll sort these out first. So we need to cut a tiny wee bit away, and it's going to be this wee corner here. We don't need that at all, and we're going to link those up and then just cut up to that wee half inch mark on each of them. And as usual, cut away wee bits just to make it nice and neat. That's that one done, and we'll do the same to the other side. It's very hard to see with this paralyzed card, but it is beautiful card, and it is actually called DSP, but it is so heavy and firm. As I said before, it's great for making uh, 3D items, you know, because you're getting that good support out of it. It's not going to collapse on you. So, we'll make these up first. I'm using my wet glue and I always get sticky with it and I'll say don't use it again but I do. So, we need to put glue on this one. And this one. This way one here, and of course your end one. I'm not going to show there. So we'll put all these up. We'll do this flat one first, just to be sure we've got it flat. And then you can line up your edges so they're all nice and neat. And then pop your wee flaps in at the side. This one over because it has the glue. And then your last one, it'll be going away from the edge so it'll be nice and neat. And just set it up and use your tool to press. Make sure everything's taken. And that's your pocket done. I want to go past, see how sticky I get. A wee tip, keep a wee bottle of uh, water and just rip it in your hands, take that stickiness away. Just plain water and you'll find it'll be back to normal. So do the same again. That one we're not putting any on. This one we need a wee bit. This one we need some. 
this wee one here and this one. Fold that one over. So it's nicely lined up at the top. That's the part you're going to see. And I meant to. I don't even follow my own notes. If you all did, that'll be flying, wouldn't it? My head's on the next project or other. So just make sure it's all squared up. And you still have a bit of wiggle room there. And again, push it down. Now, I actually meant to do this earlier. I have this lovely wee one inch circle punch. And if you decide which one's your front, slap that in just so it's in the center, but just cutting away a wee thumb hole. Do the same to this one. That just makes it easier to get the wee tea bags in and out. Gives it a wee finished look. That wee one inch, you will love it. It's so useful that, and the one and three quarter, one and three eighths inch one scalloped one goes behind. It just makes it lovely when you're doing wee punched items. So next we're going to move on to the actual base that's going to hold everything together for us. So I have to do the green. No, I have to do the green. This. Oh my god, I've lost myself here. Doing page inside. See, so you just I should not change my mind, but I keep doing it. But I get there in the end. This is just your simple wee band that's going to hold everything together and close like this. So that's where your pockets will go. So we're going to add those now. Just a bit of wet glue. Now you could round your corners on the end of this if you want. I'm not going to bother this time because my head's astray. Close that up just push it to the bottom so that it's all lined up and you know it's fitting good and again use this to push things down for you see you just want it nicely lined up at the bottom so it's nice and neat and the same with your other one bit of glue And, uh, I know there's been a few people has done designs like this. I think Crafty Caroline was the original one. She did lovely tags, Christmas tags or something on hers. So I just adjusted things to suit the size of the tea bags that I had. They're they're quite a big tea bag. Now you can see that all fits in nicely. And that's what we want. All to close in nice and neat. And we'll just push them down. hold your tea bags perfectly. Good. So now we need to make the lid. And again, the lid's going to be green, so open this way. The only reason I changed my mind about this lid is when I've done it, I realised that because of the pattern, some of it's running down the ways and some of it's running up the ways. I didn't like it, even sideways. It was driving me nuts. But I left it too late. But I mean, unless you're Looking for it, you wouldn't really notice, you know. But bear that in mind when you're choosing your papers as to what you're going to use for your only box. Maybe get a more like a checked or something that it's running in all directions, so it doesn't matter. So we have this. We need to cut away some, so go to this part, cut up to that full length. And then halfway down this one, chop it off. We don't need it. You don't need that much bulk when you're making this wee box. It is just for support at either side. And clip those in. Same in this one. Halfway. Oops. Cut straight up. Take the stuff away and clip it in. Thank you. 
see them again here. You can see this paper glistening in the sunlight here. It's gorgeous. There's a real pearly effect of it. It's just the nicest paper ever. It's so sturdy. I mean, I've made notebooks and boxes and everything. Out of them. They're just, they're really good papers. Share what you love is what you call them. And when they first came out, you had to buy them as a bundle. Now you can get them, the papers on their own if you want. So I'll have all the links down below if you want to treat yourself. If you're into making wee gifts like this, you will love it. You'll, you'll definitely be pleased with the finished items. They'll be nice and sturdy and beautiful colours. And as usual, stampin' up, you know, buy your card, buy all your matching stuff, your inks and whatever way you're treating yourself to the paper. Why not? And if you're spending a fortune, why not sign up and get your 20% discount? So we're just going to put this all together now. So a wee bit of glue again. I know it's messy, but I must like mess. Just do these two sides, a bit of glue, and then just line them all up. I mean, this glue is great. It sticks so quickly, but it still gives you that wee bit of leeway to maneuver stuff about if you haven't quite got it right. Okay, whoops, it's sticking to my sticky fingers. Set it down so it's nice and flat. You want all those corners nicely lined up. And another good tip for your last wee bit when you're doing the last glue, if you put it over the top of your box, this was a wee tip from Crafty Caroline. Um, It'll size it perfectly for you, you know. So put your glue on now and then slot that in and you know it's going to fit you perfectly. It does the work for you. Same with the other side. Now, just make sure you get those in without getting them all sticky. And just press them. And it just comes out perfect, doesn't it? Really good. And if you're using this or you're making a video, pass these tips on. Pass them on to everybody. Everybody's entitled to know these things. It's not rocket science, but all the wee tips, I'm just washing my hands again, are, uh, they're great to be shared. So that's that part done. And I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks nice, yeah. So we want to do some stamping at the top. And I'm going to use my punches, which I thought I had set out. Of course I hadn't. So I need the one and a half inch punch. Whoops. And the one and three eighths inch. So we want a white piece. And we're going to do it with the scallop, one three eight inch scallop. And then we want to back it on a piece of grapefruit grove cardstock, which matches all the things we're doing here. So the wee stamp I'm using is actually from a hostess. If you run a party in your house and be the hostess, you have a chance of getting this lovely set for free. So it's worth thinking about. It's called Hand Delivered and it's so good. I love it. It has legs, different types of skirts, and then she can be holding books, cakes, balloons, and lovely wee sentiments. Also holding a wee sheet, which can have anything on it you want at all. So it's a great wee set. If you're interested in running a party and you're local to me, give me a shout. So we're going to use this Grapefruit Grove ink pad. And the sentiment I've chose is the same as the wee teabag one for Charlotte. And it's, hope you feel better soon. Oops. So just centre that. Pop it off. Close my ink pad down. Oh, my hands are still sticking. My goodness. Such a mess. Right. So I want to put some dimensions on the back of that. 
just to hold it in place for us. Two is plenty. And back it onto your piece of grapefruit grove. Now all we need to do now is add the ribbon. <laughs> this is my ribbon from my old stash. I've had it for years and it just happens to match the grapefruit grove colour. So I was quite pleased with it. But you know, if you've only got white ribbon and you want to colour to match, just get those um, Stampin' Right pens and you can cover colour white ribbon any colour you want, any colour you have. So you'll always be able to match. Like Stampin' Up, you can buy the matching um, ribbons and strings and whatever for each project. But it's entirely up to you what you want to buy. If you have white ribbon, why not use it? So just tie a big bow at the top of the box there. Twist it till you're happy with it, like it's sitting up high. So then I've got my big scissors and we just clip it off. There. I'll fit over here. And then we'll just add some dimensions to the ribbon. We're going to actually put it on the ribbon so that when you're sliding that off to open it, you don't have to pull this off. It'll all be on the same thing. So you can actually stick it to your ribbon. And just pull your wee bits off. Oops. And that allows you to line this up perfectly. There. Now that'll be much dirty when you get your tea bags inside there, but the card itself is just lovely. It's a real investment and you will use it. Without a doubt you'll use it. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it's a lovely wee gift and Cheryl will definitely be getting one to bring in. She loves bringing in her, her work when she's on night shift there. She could be doing anything. I think I'll trim that ribbon again just. Oops. And that's her all done. So that's two of them. And I have loads of tea bags. Was the box of tea bags came. I think it's about 20 in it. So I have plenty to fill these up with, and I'll definitely be giving them to somebody. So that's me. Oh, I'll have, I'll have all my um I'll have to fix that ribbon. I've twisted it. I have all the details down below and a link to my blog that has all the sizes and whatever. So uh, if it can help you in any way at all, just let me know. And if you need a demonstrator, please contact me because I would be very happy to be your demonstrator. So that's me. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.